Hi everybody and welcome to this video all about how to make a start on the traveling to work mock controlled task. Now the control task is the main way that you will be assessed in app number this year. So you'll be doing two or three practice ones leading up to the real one which will take place sometime around next April or May. So here's the first page of the traveling to work mock controlled task that you're going to start today. Uh, now, when you do the real task next year, uh, you'll be asked to fill in this form with your name and number and so on. But uh, we won't do that this time, uh, just to uh, get straight onto the, the real business of the control task. So I'm going to skip through that fairly quickly. And there's some interesting, uh, useful and very useful information here, particularly this bit here. Take note of the uh, the timing for the real control task next year will be that you have four hours in total to complete the control task but that doesn't all have to be in one go it can be split over a number of sessions and that's what this table here is all about again I'm not going to ask you to fill this in as you go along this time for the practice one but just so that uh, when you see the real one next year it won't be the first time you've seen it just uh, just have a look at this table here which will uh, in the real task will actually keep um, a tally of how long you spend on the task each time you sit down and do it. So it'll have the, the date that you started it, and then you'll have uh, a maximum of eight weeks to finish the whole thing. So four, four hours, <coughs> four hours over that eight week period. <clears throat> Most people actually do it in less than that, but you've got a maximum of eight weeks. And then each time you sit down to have a go at the, a bit of the control task, which will be under exam conditions, then session one, the date and the duration will be uh, will be uh, recorded here, and then finally the total time spent will be recorded here, and that will have to be less than four hours. You'll have four hours in total. So we won't be doing much with the first page there this time around in the mock controlled one, but just so that you've seen it there and that you're ready for it when the real one comes. Now there's some important instructions on the second page here which starts with this task pack contains a scenario, a set of instructions and some source material. It's the beginning of, uh, of letting you uh, know about what you're going to be doing in this, uh, in, in this mock controlled task and also in the real one. So what I'd like you to do is just pause the video there and read through all of that very carefully and only restart the video when you're happy with, uh, with what it's all about. And if you have any questions then ask your tutor before moving on. So I'm going to pause uh, there, uh, and you should pause there, and then we'll come back in a second. Okay, so uh, you must have read very carefully all of that uh, important uh, preamble there to the, uh, the, mock, the mock controlled task, and it'll be very similar in the real one. And if you didn't understand anything, make sure that you ask your tutor about that. So moving on, and this is where the actual task actually starts. Now you'll notice that there's a scenario and there is a part one and a part two and a part three in a second that I'll show you. But we'll start from uh, from the top of this page here. Now each control task has a scenario, which is basically the story behind that control task. Um, there are mock control tasks about um, a family holiday, about traveling to work, about buying a computer as well. The scenario of this particular control task is to do with advising a friend all about uh, whether to uh, invest in buying a car to get to work or to stay using public transport as he or she is doing at the moment. So um, it's a fairly simple scenario and you'll be advising your friend who is considering buying a car to get to work instead of using public transport. And the aim of this whole task, the whole, uh, the whole control task, is to investigate the cost of buying a car, compare the cost of driving with the cost of using public transport and make a recommendation based on your findings. And that's a very, um, that pattern is very um, similar in all of the mock control tasks and it will be in the real one as well. Now, so have a quick read of the scenario there. It is, it is the beginning of letting you know what you're going to do. And what we're going to start on today is part one, which is uh, the plan. <clears throat> now, uh, you can't go straight into the plan. Before you start the plan, you must have read and understood the whole task really well. Everything you need to know is in these few pages, but there's a lot of it. So there's quite a lot of reading to do, first of all, even though this is a maths 
control task. There's a lot of reading to do as well. So what I'm going to leave you to do now is uh, from the paper copy that you will have been given, or there's a copy on the Google Classroom, or if you you can't find either of those things, just ask your tutor. I'm going to leave you to just read very carefully through part one, which is basically just saying the plan must include the information you need to find, the calculations you need to do, and how to present your findings. But in order to do that, you will need to have read through part two, part three, and then there's a series of, of sources, sometimes tables, sometimes graphs, and other information that you will be asked to use as you work through the task itself. So your job now is to start the task of getting a feel for what it is you're actually being asked to do. Because although part one is do the plan, you can't do it unless you've really read very carefully and really understood what part two will be asking you to do and what part three will be asking you to do. And also what each of the resources is telling you. There's a table of car prices, old and new. There's some information about the cost of public transport. And there's a graph there of the running cost of small cars. And you'll need to study those very carefully. And then once you've, you've really understood it well, then and only then you can actually go back and do the plan. And here's what your plan will look like. Here's an example one. Not finished, but uh, just to get you started. And it has to be in the form of a table. And you can see the headings there. Uh, they reflect the three things that you're asked to do in <coughs> in the uh, in the plan here. The information you need to find, the calculations you need to do, and how to present your findings. And they are, they become your headings. And as there are three parts to the control task, then the labels in this first column are part one, part two, and part three. But you can see from this that you can't even make a start on the plan unless you begin to understand uh, and have read very carefully the whole of the control task and have at least begun to, to work out exactly what it is they're asking you to do. For example, in, uh, in uh, the information you'll need in part one, and part one is actually the plan itself, you need to find out how long the family wants to go on, on holiday. This is for, a, this is for a, a slightly different one. This is for the holiday one. But need to work out the cost of the holiday for 10 nights, etc. Now, you won't, know, you won't have a clue what to write in here unless you've really understood everything uh, about the control task itself. Same with calculations you'll need to do and also how to present your findings. You'll need to talk about each of those three things for each of the three parts. So this is why there is a lot of uh, reading to do first of all. And then and only then can we really go back and start even considering doing the plan. So have a read through uh, everything really, right from page one right through the instructions, right through the scenario, right through part one, right through part two, right through part three, and all the resources you're going to use. And when you've done that and you've really understood it, and ask your tutor if you're not sure about anything, then, and only then, open up a Google document. Call it, uh, similar to this one, uh, but with your name. So your name, instead of the word example there. Uh, AON control task, and then traveling to work. And then... Uh, create a table if you know how. If you don't, just give your tutor a shout with these rows and these columns and make a start on your plan. And the plan is part one of, uh, of the control task. Okay, everybody, so uh, that's the end of this, uh, this first part of uh, a series of videos about how to do the traveling to work mock control task. Uh, if you haven't understood... Uh, uh, if you've if you've understood it but maybe missed bits out, then go back and, uh, and watch it again until you've really understood it. And just remember that you can't really start doing your plan until you've really, really understood every bit uh, of the actual control task itself. And then you start your plan. Okay, do the very best you can. Give it your best shot. Any problems, ask your tutor. And I'll see you on the next video.